We begin this hour with breaking news from Ottawa. The transport minister has unveiled a list of new rules to make air travel smoother for Canadians. CTV's Aaron Paul is covering this story. Aaron, is this new Bill of Rights going to cover uh, things that are important to Canadians? What does it mean in terms of compensation? Yeah, I'll get to exactly what we're talking about, Marcia. Big changes for air travellers as part of this proposed passenger Bill of Rights. I want you to have a listen to the transport minister speaking just moments ago. We have all heard recent news reports about shoddy treatment of air passengers. Such incidents will not be tolerated in Canada. When Canadians buy an airline ticket, they expect the airline to keep its part of the deal. When the terms of the agreement are not fulfilled, travelers should be entitled to clear, transparent, fair and timely and enforceable compensation. Okay, so let's go through some of those uh, changes. Clear and transparent rules for compensation. Also, compensation for delayed or cancelled flights, though not weather or air traffic delays. Airlines can't charge parents any more extra to be assigned seats next to their kids. The bill would also mandate minimum levels of reimbursement for other travel disruptions and lost luggage. Now, the exact rates for compensation under these new rules, that's going to be set at a later date by the Canadian Transportation Agency, and they're going to review that regularly. Carriers will also have standards for transporting things like musical instruments. Marcia. All right, changes are coming to the owner's trip ownership restrictions as well for air carriers. What's this all about? Yeah, this is an interesting point that he was speaking about. He says he wants Canadians to have more options and lower fares. So they are going to ease international ownership restrictions. The limits will increase from 25 to 49 percent. And he says that's going to provide greater access to capital for Canadian airlines. And he also says it's going to encourage competition in the industry and there provide more destination for the travelers. So new legislation expected to come into effect in uh, 2018, so next year. Marcia. Aaron, thanks very much. Welcome.